You were in the forefront of this whole, when this all started, you did this whole URL tour, which was so cool. Talk about how you had the foresight, the wherewithal, or just the initiative to just to go for it and do something different for your fans, for you. Where did that come from? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was kind of a no-brainer. I think as soon as I found out that the tour I was meant to be going on in March, which was with my friend Fletcher, we were meant to be touring across Europe together, um, I, I kind of assumed everyone would just be taking everything online. So I, I don't know, I, I thought it, it would be a cool way to kind of meet different fans online, you know, in the same way that I would be touring, like, Germany and then France. I would see different fans in different places. I thought if I if I did a tour across, you know, like, YouTube, TikTok and Twitter and Facebook, I would be seeing different audiences every night. So I, that was kind of a no-brainer. And I, I wanted to kind of raise spirits a bit. Um, I thought it would be nice to kind of just reconnect to everyone. And, and in a way, like, even though, you know, it was over a screen and not in person, it kind of did feel somewhat more intimate and like connected you know I was able to talk to fans a lot more than I would in like on a stage um in front of a big crowd so it, it was really it was nice it was it was a really good kind of you know placeholder for a gig <laughs> yeah yeah how important was that for you because a lot of artists have, have, were searching even for weeks and how to do this how important was it for you to be able to have that outlet um almost immediately? I mean yeah I, I was I was super like gutted uh, the, the tours are cancelled as I'm sure like so many musicians were in the same boat and you know like touring is like our bread and butter and it's and it's our life so you know I kind of immediately I felt like you know I, I need I need to do something with music I need to play somehow and also just seeing all the fans reactions and how you know and people were so scared as well about what was going on in the world and and just bummed out that they were missing out on all these shows they had planned it was just so important to me to kind of um give back somehow and just and you know create like a, a space and a community where we, we were all you know raising spirits and, and feeling good mm -hmm. and talk about having new music during this time because you put out some great music obviously in the last few months what's it like having new songs having new music just on a positive note the joy of releasing mm. music for yourself for your fans during this to be able to kind of lift them up yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely strange. Like you, you're not, you know, like I said, you're not going out and, and promoting the new song in ways that you normally would, but it, it's, it's nice to just kind of keep the, keep the ball rolling. And, and it kind of makes you think out the, outside the box a lot more. Like usually you'd release a song, you'd go do some promo for it. You'd make a music video and then you'd go to the new song and stuff like that. And obviously you couldn't do that stuff. So it's kind of like, thinking outside the box and how I can create content around this new single and how I can create like visuals for this. So that was really interesting. Um, try to do like a lot of stuff from home and then did like a socially distanced music video shoot, which was super interesting, that, which turned out pretty good. I'm happy with how yeah, it turned out. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of calls yeah. for a bit of innovation, I guess, but um, I don't know how innovative I've been. I mean, most of the performances I've done online have been like, you know, with a projector in the background and some like, dodgy smoke machine so <laughs> <laughs> you made it you made it work though you made it work yeah yeah <laughs> but you've been industrious since a very young age and able to pull things together you've had that talent it seems like since you were a kid both musically and visually knowing where you want to go that direction and wherewithal to kind of make things happen it seems like that's all coming together for you now this year yeah i i mean it's definitely something i've always been interested in the whole thing like it's for me it's not it is obviously all about the music, but it's not just about the music. Like, I think it's about creating a whole world and letting people into that. And I think that's what being an artist means. You know, I think everything has to line up, the visuals, the live shows, the music, you know, how you present yourself, your presence online. So it's all, it's all super important to me. Talk about how your fan base has grown and what that means to you, especially this year with new music coming out and the feedback you get from fans and what you give back to them and how important that relationship is. Yeah, it's brilliant. I think over the over the past few years since I've released like the the two EPs, like the the new fans that have come along, it's it's been crazy. And and just doing shows and stuff and seeing new faces every show is is unreal. And the support I've got in the UK on Radio One has been unbelievable. Like I've definitely noticed like a lot of new listeners um, come through that. And I think it, like I've in my songwriting, I've kind of tapped into maybe like some more universal songs and released those. And I think you know got a new a new audience from that which has been really cool and I think also making music for like the LGBTQ plus community has been really amazing I've noticed like a lot of my fans are a part of that community like me which is unbelievable so I feel like I've got like a, a really great connection with my fans there 
Yeah, and even this last week, you've done some at least, at least a few performances. I think I don't know if I caught them all, but you've done some great performances as part of uh, Pride celebrations. What's that yeah. been like for you personally? I mean, yeah, that is so important for me, and that's something I'll always do. Um, I'll always be involved in different Pride events and different Pride charities and LGBTQ plus charities. Um, and I think especially this year when we can't actually be outside celebrating Pride, it's so important to get involved in these events and these on these online events um, and to create like safe spaces online. Because I mean, there's so many, so many young queer people, especially are you know stuck in homes right now in isolation in homes that maybe they can't be them true selves so it's so important that you know create these like safe spaces online and show everyone a good time online so that's been really special to be a part of those things i bet i bet and i'm sure you've gotten some great feedback as always this week is from yeah. your performance and what you're doing talk about talk about the new the new single don't say it what that means to you where that song comes from yeah i mean i'm so happy to finally have this song out i i wrote that one in like maybe the end of 2017, early 2018, I can't really remember. I've been sitting on this song for a really long time and um, it's a special one for me because I guess it's, it's kind of a bit, it's somewhat darker than the other stuff and kind of a sad song wrapped up in like some heavy beats and like massive synths, but it's definitely a sad, more like vulnerable song of mine, which is mm -hmm. um, it's always, always good to like put some, something like that out and really like put your heart on your sleeve. Um, and yeah, the reaction's been amazing. It's kind of, it's, pretty different to like the last stuff I've put out so I was kind of nervous about it but it's it's gone down really well and the support on Radio 1 has been amazing as well. Very cool and you started you started the year off with Boring People I think right do I have that correct? That's, yeah. That's become one of my favorite songs of the year it's it's so oh, much fun, it's so cool and I've watched the video on the time. Uh, what, what was the reaction like to that and how cool has that song been for you this week? Yeah, that was good. That was another one I was pretty nervous about because I didn't want people to think I was like calling them out and calling everyone boring. It was like, for me, that was like a new kind of angle of songwriting that I tapped into. I kind of started to become a bit more introspective and write songs kind of like making fun of myself and kind of being self-deprecating. So that was kind of calling myself boring and like, you know, giant and in making everyone join in on it. So it was pretty fun. It's a really punky song and it's kind of like, has this 90s like grungy feel to it, which it was really, really cool to try something different. And yeah. it was one of the first songs I um, wrote with my friend Ali Payami, um, who's, who I've been working on a lot of my stuff and the new stuff to come. So that was a, a cool one to like put out of the first songs that we'd written together. So that's a special one, definitely. Very cool. Talk about your time here in LA, because I'm talking to you from LA. I know you spent some time here yeah. working and living. What what did LA mean to you? What what how, what was your impression of, of the music business here? How did it help you? What what was your your take? I love LA. It's like I mean, for like any when you're a young kid and you're dreaming of being in the music industry and you you know dreaming of making music, like you definitely think about LA as like the epitome of like. I don't know. I mean, it's Hollywood, isn't it? It's like what it's like exactly what you think about when you when you're a kid, and, and it's so exciting coming coming there. I remember the first time I came there, I was like, "Whoa, okay, this is it! Like, I'm gonna write with all these amazing producers and all these amazing songwriters." And it's so special every time I go there. It feels like really exciting. It kind of builds up this adrenaline in you, and I feel like when I work in LA, I'm just like, "Go, go, go!" Because I'm I'm so hyped to be there. Um, so it's definitely like. When I, when I go to LA, I know I'm going to come back with a batch of songs. I know like I'm in work mode when I go there. So it's, it's really, it's a, it's a really good place to me. I love it. it. I mean, it can be lonely, like, you know, going to a new city and, and just working there and, and, and yeah, it can be lonely, but I kind of like being in that state of mind because I think it provokes a lot of thinking and it provokes like some interesting song concepts and stuff. So I definitely love LA and miss it and can't wait to get back there. Are you, are you writing constantly since you have time now and you're sitting up there and in this in this beautiful spot are you sitting down and you're always are you always writing you're always picking up a guitar yeah, always. I'm, I'm, literally, I'm literally like got my studio right here it's like a bit of a mess but like i'm constantly that's what i'm kind of doing every day and, and it's been really nice to to get back here and you know like not being in london i'd be like in a session every day with like different producers and, it, and it's nice to kind of get back to my roots like where it all started and just be making music on my own and starting ideas on my own which is it's it's been like yeah, it's been so valuable. I feel like I've, I've kind of, I've made the most out of it, hopefully. Um, so it's, it's been nice to kind of find, find my own voice again. I like it. Very nice. And give me one more peek. I just literally saw what looked like one of the most beautiful studio rooms I've ever seen for, for about two seconds. Yeah, I'll show you. I mean, it's a bit, kind of a mess, but I've got, um, wait, how do I turn this around? That there. 
So this is my keyboard, my laptop, got like my record player and I'm in like my mum's conservatory, some pens, a printer, my guitar, <laughs> all my records. It's, it's good. It's, it's like, it's pretty small, but um, it does it definitely does the job. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.